Welcome back to Breakfast at Fiji One. Under sports news, Fiji weightlifters are continuing their preparations in the lead up to the Oceania Championships in two weeks' time. Suva based weightlifters are into their final week of training under the watchful eyes of trainer Henry Elder. Around 23 weightlifters will represent Fiji in the Oceanias, which is also a qualification for the Rio Olympics. This morning on Breakfast, we have the Oceania National uh, Olympic Committee. Uh, of course, um, the uh, treasurer, Mr. Skelly Tunamwana, to talk to us about the event, which we are looking forward to. Very good morning to you, Mr. Morning, Tunamwana. Morning, Thank you for joining us on wow, Breakfast. Great to be here. Yeah. Now, um, Mr. Tunamwana, maybe um, uh, firstly, I'd like to ask you, how many times have you actually hosted this meet, if we have hosted it, yep. or is it the first time for Fiji? No, we have hosted it okay. uh, a few times in the past. Uh, <coughs> the most recent uh, was in 2010, mm -hmm. when... Um, a group of administrators in Fiji mm -hmm. had to organize the tournament at the last at the last minute because mm -hmm. it was originally given to Nauru, but Nauru, for various reasons, couldn't host it, mm -hmm. and yeah. so they asked Fiji to host it, and we put it together in a matter of ten weeks. Yeah? Wow. Um, so that was the last time that we hosted it, and, uh, <coughs> and this is the uh, the next time after that, uh, 2016. Mm -hmm. Um, and not only is it the uh, Oceania Weightlifting Championships, but it's also a qualifier for yes. weightlifters going who want to go to Rio. Eh? Mm. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Tenomwana, you know, how important is this for Fiji, given the fact that this is um, you know, an event um, that, of course, uh, is um, a competed at an international yeah, level? Sure. You know, how important is it for us? <coughs> it's, it's very important. Mm. Primarily because of the uh, the added factor of it being a Rio Olympic Games qualifier, <coughs> and the importance of the event is signified by the att the attendance at these championships mm. of several high-level uh, international uh, representatives yeah, of the mm. International Federation. So, <coughs> International Weightlifting Federation uh, is being represented by its president. Mm. Um, and its general secretary, and there's about nine of them coming mm. from the International mm. Weightlifting mm. Federation. There's two of them coming from the Europe European Weightlifting Federation, uh, one coming from the Asian Weightlifting mm. Federation. Because it's an, it's an Olympic qualifier, it takes on uh, a greater significance because of the fact that you know, you know, you're now at a stage where people are coming out of the, uh, the, the, the mass of mm. weightlifters <coughs> down to a limited number who will represent their countries in the, in the Olympic Games. Huh? Mm. And how has the sport developed, especially for, you know, in the Pacific? Yep. It's, uh, weightlifting has, has been fairly strong in the mm. Pacific. Um, at the moment, uh, there's uh, two countries who run their own programs, which is Samoa and Fiji. Mm. Uh, Samoa are very successful, uh, as well as Fiji. In Fiji, the unique thing about uh, our program is that the bulk of the athletes are in Levuka, mm. in a community called Mbamba. Uh, there's a high performance uh, unit there, uh, which was recently destroyed by uh, Tropical Cyclone Winston, mm. but it's being rebuilt. Um, and these are the two countries which have their own uh, programs. Apart from that, we have the Oceania Weightlifting Institute, which is run by a gentleman called Paul Koffer. Mm. Um, he's also the general secretary of the Oceania Weightlifting Federation. Mm. Um, he takes the best athletes from the region and uh, puts them into an environment where they s concentrate solely on weightlifting and nothing else. And then from there, uh, they're able to, I suppose, go up to the next level, if you like. Eh? Mm. And uh, he's been very successful. Uh, so that really is uh, uh, weightlifting in, in the Pacific. Mm. Nauru, of course, has been a uh, powerhouse since mm. Marcus Steven, the current president of the country, uh, or sorry, the previous president mm. of the country. Um, uh, won a gold medal uh, at uh, Commonwealth. Wow. Um, but they have sort of uh, stabilized a mm. bit. Uh, but now it's countries like Samoa and Fiji which are now pushing through with their yes. development programs. And the results are starting to show. Eh? Yeah, yeah, we're doing quite well as well. Mm. Now, last year, the um, plus 69 um, kg or kilograms for women and the yeah. plus uh, 94 kilograms for men, I understand, will yeah. be decided by the IWF at the verification meeting. Mm. Why is that? Um, it's, a, it's a little bit of a, a technicality. Oh. Um, the championships are run in three categories. There's the senior, uh, the juniors, and the youth. 
the two categories that you mentioned, the men's 94 plus and the women 69 plus, mm -hmm. are not actually senior categories. Okay. They're youth categories. And uh, they're like the maximum mm -hmm. uh, weight categories. So uh, I suppose what the verification process will uh, decide is into which categories of the senior mm -hmm. uh, weights these juniors or these uh, youth athletes will participate in. Eh? Yeah. So for example, a 94 plus uh, men may take part in the 105 kilo seniors, uh, but their weights are, lift, uh, are categorized as mm -hmm. a, 94 K, a 94 plus youth right. category, similarly okay. for the women. So that's why it'll be uh, looked at it in the verification stage. Yeah. 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 So we're ready in two weeks' time. We're ready Definitely. to go. Definitely, uh, we've got. Uh, anything uh, planned? Anything big planned for the opening ceremony? Yeah, there's a big opening ceremony, um, and all the uh, the visiting dignitaries will be there. It's on uh, Tuesday at 5:30 at the Vodafone Arena. You know, and I, I encourage everyone to come along. Uh, we're doing a schools program where we're getting. Uh, uh, the school kids to come in free during the during the day. Uh, tickets are very affordable, five dollars, and under twelve uh, uh, kids are free. They can just come in and uh, and watch for free. Uh, we're trying to get as many people as possible into the gym, into the arena, uh, to give us the home ground advantage. Mm -hmm. You know, so the Fiji lifters can then really do well if they know that they've got the support of the people behind them. Eh? Yeah. Well, Mr. Tinaman, I wish you well, and I know that the country, the um, capital, will be uh, uh, a little bit full come two weeks' time, but thank you so much for thank joining you. us, Mr. Tinaman, this morning. We look forward to the meet. This is the Oceania uh, Meet for Weightlifting um, that's happening, and of course, straight after that, we've got the Oceania Swimming, but we'll leave yeah. that till later. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank for you so much, my